Hi everybody, it's Tim Wilde and um, message for everybody this morning, um, I'm just going to kind of recap generally on on the energies that I've been perceiving recently and um, it's as you can see it's a little bit greyer and blusterier than it has been the last few times I've recorded and probably the next time I do a video I'll be sat here in my full on wet gear we shall see. It's um, very typically British autumn at the moment but I'm here to talk about the energies today and also the fields and the general perceptions that I've been picking up from not just my my kind of localized contacts and the people that I work with but also the the actual the 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 energetical field that is surrounding this planet at the moment and what's going on with the people here now those of you that have heard me talk or or speak at workshops may have um, heard me mention the third part of the the Ascension Awakening. Now, if you haven't, just to summarise, um, there's there's kind of there's been two previous waves. We've had the um, the way showers who are the people that have been waking up over a long period of time and could possibly have been awake since the 1940s, the 50s, um, the 60s, the 70s, um, as, as long as you've been on this planet kind of thing. But the real ball will have started rolling in 1987 when we had the harmonic convergence, which was the, the amazing alignment of planets that opened up the Ascension Gateway that began. Um, and is now very much in process on Earth. So uh, with with that particular soul group, everybody's had a long time to wake up. We've had a, a good period of time to kind of potter around and do a little bit of this and do a little bit of that and interested in Reiki, crystals, healing, anything that's kind of got you into, got us into this particular field of work. Now, those that particular soul group agreed to wake up at that time as every single soul group does. Now, the second group of souls that woke up with the sentinels now the sentinels woke up post 2012 and they did so as a result of a a soul agreement and secondly a, an enormous trigger from the downloads of energy that occurred from the cosmic the cosmic moment the gateway on the 21st of um 21st of december 2012. now that group of souls wake woke up very very kind of hard and fast sort of thing almost with like you know the 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 likening I use is kind of wait going out for a night and then kind of coming around the next morning and, and and when you come around your entire planet has changed your entire world has changed your perception your consciousness your awareness everything has kind of gone up to the level that of, of what we would call fifth dimensional understanding or ascension the ascension understanding which is you know what is happening on this planet, you are aware of the energies, you are aware of how everything works, you are aware of what is right, what is wrong, what is, and um, what is balanced and what is imbalanced. So, and then you've got the third wave of people. Now, I've been talking about these, this, this third wave for quite a while because I've sensed and perceived them waking up in a, in a manner which is, um, you, the only way to describe it is is by it's similar to shaking a can of coke and then opening it after it's very 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 fizzy and you get this it's it's due to a build up of energies it's it's due to the fact that the human body in its primitive its primitive kind of form which is why I regard the the, the seven chakras and the, the 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 previous four body system as as being very much kind of a third dimensional blueprint and that is no longer in existence anymore this this kind of amazing turn of events recently is it's not just been one two or three people kind of popping awake or, or almost being forced awake by these energies <clears throat> in the last couple of weeks or so um, it's become very apparent and and I've had I had to recheck and check and recheck this information several times that the entire planet, and I'm talking all 7.5 billion souls on this planet now, has now had the heart trigger that we've all been waiting for. <clears throat> now considering the events that are occurring around us, you might actually find this information quite incredible. But look at it from the point of view that when 
the heart chakra triggers, when the heart opens at a fifth dimensional frequency, the first thing that occurs is the ego moves into a position of self-defense. Okay, now when the ego does that, it's a little bit like taking an Xbox controller off a four-year-old who doesn't want to go to bed. The ego will then rile up and <clears throat> provide any kind of defence mechanism that it possibly can in order to keep things in the status quo that they were previously. So what I am seeing and what everybody else has kind of been confirming that they're seeing around us at the moment is this is it almost like this incredible rise in erratic behaviour like this. It's um, almost like a, a, a total exaggeration of the the behavioural patterns that you would expect in people that are really kind of not balanced in any way shape or form and and the reality of it is this is a period of extreme unbalance because what is happening is all of these souls that were trying to remain asleep who were refusing to kind of acknowledge what's going on around them on a conscious on a conscious level They've now got to a stage where the heart chakra is triggered and it has done so because the planetary energies have risen to a point where their, their heart chakras can no longer remain dormant. So this is a message for the healers amongst us. This is a message for those of us who are already out there working. And, um, and also for those of you that may have just suddenly stepped into the field and suddenly realized, oh, right, okay, I'm, I'm ready, I'm conscious, what am I gonna do with all of this? It's time, basically, to start using what we have learnt and what we have basically consciously embodied in order to guide and, and keep a linearity in, in the energies of this planet because as these heart chakras trigger, as people kind of go into this state of um, high kind of inner conflict and anxiety, you're going to see this kind of amplification of, of very sort of extreme behaviour and with the way that the energies roll in, with the way that they have been configured specifically to do this trigger, the process won't actually be going on for an incredible length of time but everybody who is going through this is going to have to deal with their stuff. Um, as we all know, when you step onto the ascension pathway, when you do anything spiritual, whether it's an act of spirituality like we involve ourselves in or whether it's just a subconscious just a way of life a way of living in harmony everybody has to deal with with what is occurring in their lives on some level you can't push it into a box in a corner of a dark room somewhere it has to be brought to the light it has to come to the surface so this will be happening very very swiftly very rapidly for the people that are going undergoing this particular trigger at the time and um, no one is exempt <clears throat> now, if you look very carefully at the people around you, the people that you would consider asleep, the trick with this is, is not to be searching for their faults, for their impurities, for the patterns of behaviour that maybe offend you. You are looking for their light, because their light is beginning to shine very, very brightly. You will see it from the heart centre. The heart centre is now awake. This is planet-wide, OK? It's, I can't emphasise how incredible I thought this information was when it was given to me because it's, it's basically what I've been waiting to hear. All of these years, all of this build up, all of this work, all of this preparation, now we have a situation where everybody is given the opportunity to step out of their previous form and into this higher, this higher state of being which is what we are moving into regardless. Now, if you are staying in physical on this planet, this state of consciousness is not optional, okay? It doesn't matter how you embody it, it doesn't how, it matter how you express it. I mean, everybody has their own personal way of being conscious, being spiritual, being the person that they are. And ultimately, what we're all going to be doing is kind of doing our own separate thing, then regrouping at the other end at the finish, and it will be a state of unity it will be a state of oneness but we're all going to have these different ways of expressing it so there's no right way and there's no wrong way and there's no there's nobody who's got the right to stand up and say look you know my way is the only way and everything like that everybody around you is going to be expressing their ability to to 
wake up and be spiritual differently. So we're all going to have to be very patient, very open-minded, and we're also going to be introduced to some concepts that we might not actually be familiar with or aware with. But the one thing that is actually completely, you know, it's it's happening for every single person that's awake here. What we are doing, we are stepping into this this ascension blueprint, this Atlantean blueprint that we set for ourselves. So. That's the really interesting part about it, is the fact that apart from the very, very new souls that have, have come down here, the new, um, the, the, the tenth dimensional children who are incarnating post 2012, all of us older souls, and that especially includes me, I was born in 1972, we all <coughs> had at least one lifetime in Atlantis. We had that, that one kind of golden, that golden lifetime where we established ourselves a master blueprint and that is what we are using as a template for the fifth dimensional reality that we are moving into. But again, it doesn't matter whether you are interested in Atlantis, it doesn't matter whether it even comes into your consciousness and, and I certainly can say for certain that a lot of people that are waking up on this planet who will be acknowledging their consciousness in the next five years or so or ten years or whatever it takes they won't necessarily be kind of going, oh, this is my Atlantean blueprint, I'm going to step into it. They will simply be waking up and being conscious and living their lives at a higher level. But essentially, this blueprint is across the board. This is what we're using. So those of us who know what we're doing, those of us who are using our healing energies to bring this forward, what we're, what, what we're simply doing is we're looking for that highest point of light available to step into. Um, that's what I've that's what I've personally been doing for quite a long time but this is what the people who are waking up will also be doing they'll be almost stepping into boots that fit them very nicely but in order to find those boots that fit them very nicely they've got to go through the process they've got to release what they need to release they've got to establish their new higher patterns of behavior so it's going to be a period of turmoil uh, on planet earth and the length of time that this goes on for this I wouldn't say so much turmoil, but, you know, like when, when, when people use the word turmoil, maybe they think of kind of earth changing, kind of catastrophes, etc, etc. I don't mean that. I mean the energetic field, the, the, the kind of the, the energy, the, the, the actual balance and the frequencies or the pulse or the vibration of the, of the light around you will be very kind of up and down. It will be kind of very dependent on what the unified field is actually kind of running at at a, at, a, at a percentage or a balance so I kind of consider it my duty and and maybe the duty of the people that are, are, are out there already doing this to be extra vigilant in keeping that field balanced we need a happy medium so that everybody is kind of stepping into this energy on a on a on a kind of on a level which they can kind of understand and handle and we are we are the guides we are the role models we are the teachers we are the people that are kind of leading by example at the moment so i just wanted to check in this morning and just and and kind of just speak about what i've seen recently because obviously i've been very distracted the last couple of weeks or so i've had some huge changes in my personal life with my mother passing and and that obviously took my eye, eye off the ball for a little while but in the process of doing so, I also noticed that sort of like immediately on the other side of that, some incredible changes had actually occurred. And when I tuned into it, I was suitably amazed that this this huge opening, this huge heart trigger had actually occurred. And this was the reason why we had this incredible kind of moon and line up and, and the astrological it started off with the lion's gate the lion's gate triggered it all off and from that point onwards we just had date after date and then we had the sun flares and then we've just had this aries um super moon which was absolutely incredible so this is kind it's kind of peaking now we've got this we've got this ball of energy or surrounding planet earth which is now supporting fifth dimensional consciousness and things that should have been coming to the light are now starting to come to the light so it's very exciting times and um so that's me for this particular message if anybody anybody wants to know any more about this then please contact me on my tim wild practical ascension page or perhaps comment in the YouTube link but um, I'm going to be speaking and focusing more on this very much so um, 
and pinpointing individual aspects of the process in the future. So watch this space. Lots of love. See you soon.